Welcome back to AM Agenda. Uh, day after the Jenkins report revealed the harassment and abuse plagued across Canberra's parliament, a senator has allegedly been told to shut her legs in the chamber. The Green Senator Lydia Thorpe allegedly told Liberal Senator Holly Hughes to keep her legs shut during a debate in the Senate. Thorpe then retracted her comments and apologised. Uh, I just want to uh, unreservedly uh, take back my comments uh, that I made earlier and I apologise to um, that senator wholeheartedly, um, Senator Hughes, and that won't happen again. So I apologise to um, the senator and also the Senate. Well, that senator joins us now, Liberal Senator Holly Hughes. Thanks so much for your time. Do you accept that apology? Uh, look, I will because that's what happens uh, in the Senate and uh, Lydia has since withdrawn her comments. Uh, the, I mean, they were beyond disgusting, they were beyond vile. Uh, I absolutely, I think I'm still a little bit in shock at what she actually said and the intent behind it. So what actually happened? Can you give us some context? So yesterday in question time, a question was asked of Minister Reynolds around International Day for Disability. At that moment when Minister Reynolds was giving her answer, Lydia Thorpe stood up shouting at everyone in the Senate around two women who had died in custody and stormed out of the Senate. It was a wildly inappropriate time whilst Linda was addressing people with a disability and the ways that we support them to conduct this stunt. So later on in the night, after seven o'clock, uh, there was some vocal debate occurring in the Senate, as is wont to do across the chamber. And uh, Senator Thorpe yelled out at me and I responded to her that, you know, she was a disgrace for pulling that stunt while we were discussing people with a disability. And at that point she said, at least I kept my legs shut. And uh, then she made the point when she withdrew that she saw something. Well, I was sitting on the front bench next to Linda Reynolds. so. It is untrue what she said in the Senate that she saw something because I was sitting on the front bench, which was her uh, implication. But what I took from it, what a number of my colleagues from across the chamber, Liberal, Labor, crossbenchers, that had I kept my legs shut, I wouldn't have a child with autism. Wow. So, it, honestly, I am dumbfounded that someone would say that, would suggest that, um, I can take it. Have a go at me all you want to. I could not care less. But when someone invokes someone's child, uh, I think they have crossed a line. The fact that this was the day after the Jenkins report came out, there were parts in that report that said that some of the worst bullying was woman on woman. I'm almost as disappointed today to hear Tanya Plibersek say earlier in an interview on your program, if it's true, if it's true. Senator Thorpe got up and gave an apology in the Senate. There's no doubt about the truth to these comments and they were heard by a number of senators in the Labor Party and the crossbench who have all come up to me and spoken to me about it and were horrified. Perhaps Ms Plegbisek should have spoken to Penny Wong, who was horrified. Okay. Uh, I don't know, is this what happens with Labor Greens, that it's not believe all women, it's still attack conservative women? I, I think I'm almost as hurt by what Tanya has said mm. uh, in her response, and I think both of them probably need some reflection. Well, it is not in doubt because Lydia Thorpe has apologised. Mm. Um, mm. There's I no doubt she said it. Thinking that it, it may have been a, a slut-shaming comment, but mm. do you see the, these comments as as criticism of your disabled son? Uh, not only me, uh, most of my colleagues who I spoke to, that was their first uh, thought when they heard it. Um, and again, not just Liberal senators. I had a Labor senator come over to my office last night after to check in, see how I was. Uh, and as he made the point, because he made the assumption straight away, he heard it and he was actually one of the ones that made the comment, he, I think he actually was the one that let Penny Wong know because obviously Penny sits quite far down the chamber and may not have heard it. Mm. Um, but as he said to me, if a Liberal senator had said that, if a Labor senator had said that, uh, and as he said it at the time, he said they'd be an independent by about, oh, now. But again, the behaviour of the Greens, um, 
their sanctimony when they yell at the government about treatment of women and then for this to occur and not one Greens senator has spoken to me. The tone of the Greens in the Senate has significantly shifted with the departure of Richard Di Natale and Rachel Seward. I have absolute confidence if this occurred on, Richard, uh, on Richard Di Natale's watch, he would have come and sat with me in the chamber. He would have come and spoken to me. Rachel Seward would have been on the messages or been over to see me straight away. I have not heard from one of the Green senators and the fact that they were uh, rallying around Lydia like she had somehow been wronged, uh, I find just offensive. We need to do better in this place. We need to treat each other with a bit of respect. I'm, I'm happy, I'm very vocal in the Senate, but we talk about policy, we debate each other on what we're trying to achieve for this country and how we have mm. different views about that. We don't invoke people's families. The Senator, it hasn't been a great week for the culture of Parliament. We've seen it laid bare, some shocking allegations, some uh, insidious uh, behaviours um, that have been going on for, for all too long. That was once again highlighted by Rochelle Miller this morning, who's just made claims about Alan Tudge, her former boss, which, of course, uh, he denies. I have to um, highlight that. What should, should happen here? Well, I, I understand that Minister Tudge has denied this version of events. Mm. Um, you know, these things are he said, she said. It was a consensual affair. Um, but that's I, the I, problem, I, isn't it? That's the, that's the problem. This is what this mm. whole Jenkins report went to. She's mm. calling well, on your party to do more. She says she wasn't protected. She was briefed But what against. does she want us to do? What does she want us to do? We've implemented recommendations since the Foster review. We've now got the Jenkins review. There are a mm. series of steps that will be taken around providing HR departments for complaints for staff uh, and, and, and other measures that will be taken. It was a bipartisan initiated review. It's going to be a bipartisan supported review and recommendations as they're being worked through. Mm. Um, I, I don't know what uh, Ms Miller is calling on, but Minister Tudge has denied this version of events. So, uh, again, we're in he said, she said. OK, well, she's calling on the Prime Minister to... Uh, perhaps discipline uh, Alan Tudge. She argues that these allegations come out and he's just been promoted. I, I honestly don't know what disciplining Minister Tudge would look like. I mean, okay. is she calling for him to not be minister? I don't know. Mm. I, I don't think you can start to make those decisions based on, again, a consensual affair that they have both acknowledged. I understand they both deeply regret and that Minister Tudge has denied her version of events. You she, can't sack people based on an accusation that's not provable. Yeah. The, well, this in lies the problem. I mean, that's she's, the she's problem, the, Laura. You can't yeah, do that. Yeah. Well, this is the heart of the problem, she though, isn't it, as well? She's not the first woman to say something about the toxic power imbalance, not just within mm. the Liberal Party, it's got to be said, in, in politics mm. more general. Mm. You know, she said that the Liberal Party has a, has a man problem not a woman problem. What do you think about all of this? How do you reflect on this? I, actually, look, I've been in this place as a senator for two and a half years. I used to work here 20 years ago. The place has significantly changed over that time. Uh, there, I said on a TV show the other day that I'd never been the victim of bullying. So, you know, clearly someone just wanted to put that on my bucket list and make that happen. Uh, but you know, everyone needs to hold themselves more to account. Everyone, MPs, senators, staffers, everybody needs to hold themselves to account. We're adults, this is a professional working environment and people should behave that way. Holly Hughes, thank you for your time today. Thanks, Laura.